I need to get here some keys made, but I need to see the man of this place. Is the man here that can cut these? Because I sure don't trust no women. guys women in locksmithing is this video so today I had uh, well I actually decided um, a little while ago to do a video honoring my beautiful wife Kim Thank you. because when we hooked up I was already locksmithing and she had no clue about locks or anything like that she had no idea what was involved or anything like that and uh, we got married, ended up taking over the shop. She quit her job and came to work here and has since uh, worked here ever since and has learned a lot. She's not a locksmith. She doesn't re-key locks or anything, but she can cut a key like nothing else. She can spot a key. She can ID a key. She's pulled out broken keys, uh, helped a lot of people over the phone, answers the phone while I'm out on the road, and, uh, you know, does book work and just a whole bunch of stuff that I don't have time to do, or don't care to do, or don't like doing, it gets relegated to her. She takes a lot of flack because I'm in a bad mood, and of course with her being right here in the shop and us working together, and you know, going home, we pretty much spend almost all our time together except when I'm, you know, not out, I'm on the road and I'm not here. So I just wanted to talk about women in locksmithing. Um, this kind of stemmed from uh, Daryl and Carol. Daryl and Carol are in the UK. They are husband and wife team. And he has said that they kind of mimic, except in the UK version, they kind of have the same arrangement. And I'm sure a lot of people have that that are active uh, locksmiths or locksmith companies. You may have a girlfriend, you may have a wife that um, does paperwork for you or helps you or even just deals with you after a bad day. So this video I just wanted to tell Kim that I love her and I wanted to thank her very much for everything she's done over the years for the shop and uh, go get that damn phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let her come back. Oh did you hear that? She called somebody a stupid mother. It was a spam call. <laughs> <laughs> spam, spam, spam call. So anyway, the, the point behind the video was there are women in locksmithing. It is not that unusual. We actually have another locksmith here in town that is woman run. Um, but even going off into the lock sport category, many of you have girlfriends that deal with your obsession with locks. So I think um, during this video, maybe spur this on, is to tell your loved one that you love them very much and thank them for supporting you through everything that you have to deal with during the day. And uh, obviously, I was kind of joking about all the, you know, customers that come in. But unfortunately, it is not a joke. We have had many very, she has had very many similar experiences to that. And... Um, you know, sexist people exist still. They just don't think women should be doing anything besides making babies and cooking, which is totally bullshit. Um, and that woman better not just walk down the street. Get her, get her, Kim. Thank you. Yeah. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do a video honoring the women of locksmithing. One of my subscribers, Debbie, uh, I never can, I want to say Florida, somewhere on the, not the panhandle, but the, the top part of Florida, I think she is. She is, she is a woman a locksmith business owner. She is one of my subs here. And uh, total respect to women who get into this trade because yes, locks, um, as many of y'all know, who go to these DEF CONs or go to these phys physical security things, there are not a lot of women that are involved in actually locksmithing. It is still a predominantly male profession. However, that does not mean that a woman cannot do the same things that a man can do. So I just wanted to put out this video reminding y'all to thank your other half or your loved one who has to deal with the nonsense that you have to deal with and carry home or carry back to the shop as Kim has to deal with. And uh, you know, I get pissed and irritated and take it out on her accidentally, purposefully, sometimes we piss each other off, we, you know, bounce off that and, and fight and, you know, it, it, it happens and especially happens. We've been married for a long time and I'm not going to say the date because, you know, I'll get in trouble, but um, we've been married for a long time. We've been business <laughs> partners for a long time. She handles a lot of stuff in the shop and just for those of you who think that women can't handle things, um, you're because wrong. You're wrong because it's a predominant just because it's a predominantly male profession that does not mean that a woman cannot do the same thing like copying a key she gets that a lot because when I'm not here she'll have people come in and and like immediately demand to see me because blah 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 for no reason other than to like schedule an appointment people will call demand to speak to me just to say I need you to come to my house well that's why Kim is here Kim helps me do that stuff so I don't have to do it so I can do other stuff like make silly videos I mean work and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah I just wanted to, to do a, a quick video giving a shout out to all the women in locksmithing or involved in some capacity whether you are locks for just like collecting locks um, hard, hard work, even not in the locksmith trade, even if you are HVAC, if you are electrical, if you are uh, uh, awning people, in any trade where it's considered male dominated but there are women working there, those women know, those women, <laughs> 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 you better not tap my big window, those women have to deal with a lot more than y'all understand. So shout out to Debbie. One of my subs, shout out to all my other subscribers who are involved with locks. Definite shout out to my beautiful wife, Kim. She has been with me through thick and thin and dealt with a lot of nonsense on my part. So I just wanted to do a video giving a shout out to women in locksmithing. And uh, if you ever, if you ever see anybody, if you're in a store anywhere and you ever see a sexist asshole doing crap like that, call them out on it. They need to be called out on nowadays and they need to realize it is not socially acceptable to down somebody just because of their gender or race or sexual orientation or whatever the case is. None of that's cool. None of that needs to happen and the people that do that need to be called out. And again, thank your loved ones. Tell them you love them because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. And again, Kim, I love you. Thank oh, you for you. doing what you do. Well, anytime. anything for you, buddy. Anything. So, and I do love this man, so. And I did put up with a lot. <laughs> so, anyway, um, we're about to get our UPS hopefully packaged so I can actually go do some work so that she can stay here and deal with hopefully none of those types of people that come in. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great video. Don't forget, tell your loved, loved ones, ones that you love, love them and them. you thank them. That's the most important thing because I personally know that I don't thank Kim enough for all that she does so that I don't have to do it. So this was kind of a twofold video for me to suck up. I mean, for me to... <laughs> <laughs> nice. For me to... For me to tell Kim that I love her, and here's our UPS package. Thanks again, guys. Y'all have a great guys. one. Catch you next video. How's it going?
Yeah. 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 Yeah.